Hi there, David Tomlinson. Thanks for looking in. When you share a PowerPoint presentation in Microsoft Teams, you can now access any slide easily. You can also see your notes and the incoming questions all on the same page. This will really give you comfort. So let's join a Teams meeting and see just how easy it is to set this up. So this is the page that opens when you click on Join Now. DT, that's me, David Tomlinson. We're going to the top right here. And let's imagine that it's your turn to share content. So let's click on this button. And what we've been doing up until now is uh, we would click on this PowerPoint presentation, for example, that we've opened in advance. So what do we have to do differently uh, to configure Presenter View? Well, quite simply, we move over to the right here to Browse. Let's click on there. Upload from the computer or from OneDrive. I'm going to upload from my computer. And this is the trick. Microsoft Teams is asking us to upload a closed presentation. So let's click on this one, Effective Presenting. And when it opens it, for the meeting, it will be opened in mode presenter view. So let's do this live. And this is fabulous for the speaker because you'll be able to see your notes. Uh, you'll be able to access any slide. The public will only see the slide that you've clicked on. That's the slide the public can see. Now you need to pay attention to this uh, button up here on the top left, this I. If the I is open, the people joining your meeting will be able to sift through your slides. Now that's maybe not a good idea, so make sure you knock that out. See the line that's crossing that out. We're also going to open the conversation on the side here. And you'll be able to take the questions, see the questions arriving, and you'll be able to answer as you present. Your notes will appear here. Now, we're not going to use the keypad, obviously, as we've uploaded the presentation. The controls are on the left down here. So for slide number two, you just click there. There's slide number two with the transition effect. It's going to do your build ups as well. Now, let's say you get a question. Somebody asks you a question about a study, for example. You click next to it. The public can only see the slide that's showing it. But you can click here. The public can't see what you're doing and it will show you all of your slides. So all you have to do is scroll down here. Just imagine the comfort that you're going to get. Click on the slide that answers the question and a couple of seconds it will pop up. The public gets that. There you are. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go back to slide one just to show you how easy it is. There we go. And slide one appears immediately. I'm going to leave you here. All the very best for your future webinars. And I'll be back shortly with more video tutorials. Bye for now.